Okay, first we need to open the image, file, open the image, open cranes.jpg. Next, we need to duplicate the layer. So make sure our layer is selected, control J, layer is now duplicated. Next stage is to flip this layer vertically. So arrange and flip vertical. Now we need to rasterize the layer. Rasterize the layer to reset its transform coordinates. And now we need to go to filters, distort and equations. We'll use the equation filter to do the effect. First, make sure we're in Cartesian coordinates. Make sure we're on mirror mode to stop the edges from becoming blank. And now we need to type our equation into the X parameter. Luckily, we have the equation in a file. So we open equations.txt and control C to copy the whole of the equation and then control V to paste it into the X parameter and straight away you can see it working. Now we click on the parameter A to adjust the vertical size and frequency of the effect, the curves. So I think something along oh, about that size will be okay. Click on parameter B to adjust the width of the ripples or the curves. Here we go from still to huge. I think something a little more realistic is in order. Something about there and that's fine. We have our Cartesian coordinates selected. We have our equation present. Our parameters are set. Extend mode is in mirror so now we can click apply. Now the next stage is to resize the document. Resize the canvas, actually. We don't want to resize the whole document because we want the objects to say the same size. OK, click Unlock to stop it resizing the X when we want to resize the Y or resizing the Y when we want to resize the X. And clicking into the Y box, delete the PX and type times 2. Press Return. And there we have it. I think your photo has done the calculation forward, so we don't have to. Right? Hit resize. And there we are. Next, we need to move the layer, the top layer, down into the bottom half. So we click the move tool and move it into the bottom half. With snapping enabled, that will be very, very simple. Now select the view tool and go document, flatten. There we go, the finished water ripple effect using Affinity Photo and the Equation Filter. <laughs>